Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the brand new share menu inside of Final Cut Pro 10.0.6. Just a reminder, if you don't know how to update to 10.0.6, just go over to the Mac App Store, go onto the Updates tab and there'll be an update waiting for you. Okay, so if we have a look at the new uh, menu design in Final Cut Pro 10, you can see there's no longer a share menu across the top. And that's because down over here, they've got this new unified share icon, which is used all across the iOS devices that Apple make, and also across a lot of the apps inside of Mountain Lion. Now, if we uh, click on this, you can see it's even got a subheading at the moment saying show uh, share destination. So if we click on this, you can see we've got a few options. Now, basically, we've got, we can export to DVD. We can export to the master file. Now, this basically means like a high-res file. If you... Uh, if you tell it to do a uh, source, it's basically going to export it in the same format your timeline's currently set at, so you won't get compression uh, loss of quality. You can also obviously include chapter markers. Um, remember to check out my chapter marker tutorial. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. You can also change it. I like to use H.264 because it's good for web uploading. But obviously there are other options for web uploading as well. Uh, Inside of the master file, we, this is where we have options to export the different roles as uh, separate files. Now, if you go and check out my tutorial on roles exporting, then this will make that a little bit clearer. There will be a link for that as well. So, I'm not going to go through all these individual options, but you can see that now it's becoming a bit more open. We've obviously got Facebook export and stuff like that, but you might be wondering where some of the export options are gone. Now, it's very simple. If we click on Add Destination, this is going to load up our Preferences. If you don't know how to find this menu without clicking on that, you basically go Final Cut Pro, Preferences, and this is the Preferences menu. You can recognize these three options from before, but now we have this Destinations icon um, option as well. Basically, here are our destinations on the left-hand side, which show up on our Share menu. Here are all our available destinations. If we grab Blu-ray and drag it over here, now Blu-ray will show up in our share menu. When we close it down, it will. There you go, Blu-ray's there. Nearly made a fool of myself. And if we want to remove something from here that we don't use, we can press minus. Now, one of the ones that I recommend using is the Save Current Frame button. Now, I've got a previous tutorial on how to add a still image from our event browser into... Uh, from a piece of video in our event browser into our timeline. But what about exporting stills that you, that you want to share with your fans uh, that are excited about your upcoming film? Well, if we add the save current frame option into here, we, I'm going to put it I'm going to put it at the bottom about here. And you can see what the options are. If we select uh, PNGs are quite high, TIFFs are high file. I'm going to choose JPEG because it's quite a lower file size. And we can also add options as well if we wanted to add some compressor settings. Now if we click on compressor settings, you can see that it's going to come up with our options of all our different compressor export settings that are in compressor. Now, if you think about the advantage of this, if we had a custom settings, which you can see I obviously don't, um, but I like to take the 1080p video sharing option and decrease the bitrate inside a compressor so that you still get pretty much the same quality, but the bitrate means drastically reduced file size. I'd be able to select that, press OK, and then that would add that compressor setting into our menu, and I can name it whatever I want. So we can literally have custom export settings built in from compressor into our share menu, which is very handy. You basically just, you when you've chosen it, you just drag it over, and then obviously you choose your options. So this is the brand new share menu. Obviously you've got email. I wouldn't recommend emailing a massive video file but nonetheless the option is there. So hopefully this was useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon with some brand new tutorials.